we know in the next couple of days or so there is going to be a definitive opinion of what's going to happen next. Uh, you know, we, we know the levels, right? We know uh, three. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is doing well. So let's talk about the take real quick. Uh, again, uh, three days now in a row, right? Three days in a row we're stuck in this uh, little, uh, little channel here, right? You have three days in a row uh, that we got rejected off uh, the five-day moving average for going higher, and we are three days in a row that held uh, the bottom range here on the 10-day moving average. So nothing has changed. So we're in this kind of uh, spin cycle. What What's good is that the volatility that we talked about last week that I thought was going to start coming to an end this week uh, was gone, was absolutely gone, and that was great. Uh, we saw very, very orderly uh, basic um, organic moves today in the morning, uh, especially names like uh, Tesla, especially names uh, like NVIDIA, like Amazon, uh, Rivian to the downside as well. So things slow down and that's a good thing. And, and I, I say this all the time, don't confuse average true range with volatility. Nobody likes volatility. Average true range is what beta names are. You know, every single day, these things could trade uh, in you know any given day, a channel of 20, 30, 70, 80 points, like we saw today uh, with Amazon. But the overall market, and what we discussed on the weekend update, again, only seven stocks started the day uh, above supply on the NASDAQ 100. That's not a bullish thing. That's, that's obviously uh, something that, that's, that should be concerned. And the, moral, uh, the more important part is we are, again, underneath the 200-day moving average and nothing good is gonna happen underneath the 200-day moving average. But the good news is something has to give here. And the longer uh, the bullish case is, well, we are keep on holding the 10-day moving average. We're not going lower. The bearish case is, well, you guys keep on you're trying to remount the five-day moving average and you're getting rejected. So we know in the next couple of days or so, there is going to be a definitive opinion of what's going to happen next. Uh, you know, we, we know the levels, right? We know uh, three, uh, 362 continues to be to the upside. Uh, 352 considers to be uh, to the downside. So one of those channels, when they do confirm in price and they start building basically price action either above or below, that's going to give us either a big green uh, or a red light. But if you start looking at individual names, you know, you got to, you know, you have to start, uh, you know, continue to start being worried. I mean, look, look at Google. Google come out with earnings. Uh, they had that really good, you know, really good, um, you know, uh, 20, 20 for one uh, stock split. It hasn't had a green day. It, it hasn't had a green day uh, since it came out with earnings and it's kind of completely filling in this whole channel here. Tesla that had the opportunity, uh, you know, to really bust out today above the, you know, above the 20 day supply, it failed. It gave us a you know, pretty good pivot first, uh, but it failed. And now you can see the bottom of this channel is setting up fairly well. You know, a name, for example, like a Rivian, right? It lost the five, it got rejected off the five day moving average three days in a row. It closed, this is the lowest close in this whole formation. If this thing starts taking out this whole channel here, right? This thing's gonna start its next leg down to last week's lows. And, and that's a lot of names, right? There really is a lot of names. You can make a case, well, Amazon is holding up very well. And absolutely, it actually absolutely is. But guess where it got rejected from? It got rejected off the 50 day moving average today. So it's very, very tough to get excited about the long side, right? The macro long side until we at least reclaim the five day moving average on the queues before we could start talking about reclaiming the 200 day moving average uh, on a broader uh, on a broader basis. And that's kind of where we are. So you're probably going to see a very methodical day tomorrow, right? Uh, you know, definitely tradable. I, I definitely like some ideas both to the long side to the short side. Um, but more important is I think the overall market until we kind of make our way either above that channel or below, it's gonna take its time. A lot of people are gonna sit there, they're gonna get frustrated, you're gonna use the word chop, it's not chop, they're just sitting in the middle of the channel. So why would you make a claim? Why would you try to make a, a directional bet if the cues are, are really blatantly telling you they're in the middle of this channel? There's no reason to, you have to just wait till they either get above or get below before making bets. So you know, understand the difference between a distribution market 
uh, that is uh, trying to go a sideways action than a market that's trying to uh, use a chop factor, right? Uh, which chop factors usually take place rounding bottoms and rounding tops. Right now, we're just kind of uh, trapped in a channel. So going into tomorrow, you know, again, it, it, sometimes you have to just let things play out. And, and there's definitely going to be opportunities uh, for these things to play out. But more important, you have to wait, especially if it's your niche sector or niche sector, the way you want to pronounce it. Like look at names, for example, like IBM. IBM had some pretty good earnings uh, it's just kind of flagging. You know, listen, if the market wakes up, can, you know, could this be a nice move? Sure, absolutely. Uh, you get a name like Citibank. You have some of these uh, banks that are starting to finally firm up a little bit. Look at Citibank. Nice long distribution here. Uh, if the banks wake up here and they start, you know, making that whole talk about uh, interest rate hikes again, maybe they wake up, right? Maybe you know, the whole group wakes up as well. Um, you know, on e even names, for example, on the upside, uh, NVIDIA, right? Uh, NVIDIA looks uh, pretty good. Doesn't look great. Uh, for overall macros bucket, but again, it's tied uh, to this area now twice, got rejected off the same area. We saw some 257.50 uh, weekly calls coming in. You know, maybe this thing wakes up as well. Uh, a Facebook, right? That seems like it's going to zero, and maybe it does. Probably, I'm joking. Uh, you have Peter Thiel getting off the board, uh, resigning from the board of directors today uh, after the close. Uh, there's going to be a trade in Facebook. Um, I, I would, and it's not to the downside. Uh, let the market kind of watch the sucker out, right? And, and I, mean, I started watching it today. Uh, I'll be watching it tomorrow. You know, let them wash it out. Let them, you know, do the heavy le legwork for us. Let this, you know, let them clean up whatever sellers they have left. And eventually there will be some intrinsic value in the trade. And eventually they will trap uh, some late eager shorts at the bottom of the range and maybe uh, get, you know, get a dead cat bounce, you know, the next day. I think in the next day or two, you're probably going to get, um, you know, probably going to get a dead cat bounce on Facebook. Is it possible it goes down to 220, 215 first? Yeah, of course. You know, again, nobody's trying to uh, pick a bottom. We just want to be uh, conscious of the idea that it could wash out uh, in the next day or so and give us a pretty good opportunity. Look, the stock has gone from 328 to the 220s. You tell me we can't get a 10, $15 bounce in the next couple of days. So something uh, something definitely uh, for us to watch. Look at a name like uh, TMUS, right? Uh, had pretty good earnings. Now it's just kind of uh, consolidating, right? Below daily supply, it looks pretty good. If it could just start getting above the supply, uh, could start its next leg up. And, um, you know, again, a name like Tesla, you know, gave us a pretty good opportunity today. Uh, pretty quick, pretty aggressive. But again, it's got rejected. So if it starts losing this 10-day channel here and starts losing this bottom of the range here, guys, look how much room it has. This isn't, you know, this isn't, this isn't a trade for a scalp. This is, a, you know, this is a major directional bias here in the next couple of days, if and indeed uh, so confirmed. So kind of going into tomorrow, you know, we're in la la land. There's going to be some longs. There's going to be some shorts. The point is, don't don't anticipate. Okay, don't anticipate. Uh, one side or the other uh, trying to confirm, let it play out. Again, you don't need to be the first kid in the pool every single day and be, you know, put on 200 different trades until uh, macro levels to start getting confirmed. Relax, learn to relax. Uh, you know, again, if you, if you don't put on 10 trades at 931, I, I promise you, your day's not over, right? Let the market play out. Uh, let the song and dance play out. Let all the noise play out. You know, understand a directional bias. Understand a trend that's forming. Without a trend, without understand under, uh, undenounced buying, you, you, you're not going to, it's going to be very, very tough to squeeze water out of a rock. And right now we're in a very, very tough rock. We're in a very tough situation right now uh, because the market's just not giving us a directional look. Will there be a trade tomorrow to the long side, to the short side? Absolutely. But if you're looking for a directional trade, we let we need to let these things kind of play out organically. It might take a day. It might take tomorrow. It might take two days. We don't know. We're not in a rush. There's absolutely no reason to try to force the issues. Some days uh, you try to dissect uh, the technical analysis, you try to dissect the news. You know, this is kind of face value, right? Let it play out nice and calm. There is no rush. Make it to the next day, but more important, make it to the next day with value. Guys, have a great night. God bless, and I'll see you all tomorrow.